I mean, I see it happening on social media. The cognitive decline is atrocious. I gave a CPD lecture to a load of uh, medical professionals before. And it basically said, if you're an arsehole before you took steroids, you're going to be an even bigger arsehole on them. You could have someone who is completely placid and then turns into the most aggressive demon using steroids. Like, I, I, you know, I think in, in terms of brain strategies, I, I get, again, it was, it was interesting because there was some level of what they sort of call survivor bias or survivorship bias of, well, I don't allow that and I'm fine. And it's, it's sort of like, well, are you really fine uh, relative to how you were in the past? Um, People don't have no self-reflection. That's the problem, right? That the, the, the ego prevents them from looking at themselves. I mean, I can clearly tell that my brain physiology has changed over the years. And I can feel that it changes when I'm running particular compounds, right? I'm a shopping addict on trip. Not really a sex addict, but I'm a shopping addict. And and after training, I'm, I'm done. I don't buy any Legos. I don't buy any shoes. I don't buy any motorcycle parts. I just don't give a shit. But I'm on the trend sandwich, man. I'm spending thousands of dollars on bullshit. And I, I use it, obviously. It's not like I'm not using it. But, <laughs> I mean, I got the Enterprise D Lego <laughs> set sitting here. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> it's you know, like, to be uh, built. <laughs> but I was salivating on that thing for a month, you know, looking at Lego. Like, oh, it's just, the Enterprise D Lego set is coming. I got to buy it first day. So I went there first. <laughs> I got it first day, of course. It's, it's a trend, man. It's a fucking trend. Because otherwise I, I would have uh, bought it like, oh, I'm going to, you know, shopping more where the Lego store is four weeks later. And fingers crossed they have one. And otherwise I order it online. You know, there's no rush. But now there's there's an immediate need to get that thing uh, yeah. in the house. You know? I think like the 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 role of inhibition in our brains, like we've sort of spoken about that a normal logical brain might sort of say, Yeah, I'd like that or I need it, but it will sit on the decision. You tend to be you're again, it comes back to the brain chemistry, you're a lot more impulsive when you, you are now. running higher androgens. That's why training TikTok is such a bad idea because you, you, TikTok gives it to you now. <laughs> <laughs> or thank God I don't have TikTok anymore. I got banned, and I, I, I learned how to you know take social media out. But I, I clearly noticed it to myself, and I saw it with clients when I was still coaching. You're you're so impatient, dude. I, I order motorcycle parts in the U.S. It takes a week to deliver to my shipping forwarder, and then three weeks to come to Thailand. Right, so it takes a month. It's so hard. It, it just every day I ask, I check the shipping forward. Is it here yet? Is it here yet? Is it here yet? So that's why one of the reasons I can't wait to get off the shit because I'm just so impatient. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting upset for no reason. Why is my helmet not here? You know, well, it's good. It's not going to go me here any faster, but the trend just ruins your perception of time. Yeah. And if I can tell it, then I'm sure other people can tell, uh, but a lot of people can't. And they're like, why am I so angry? Why am I so impatient? Why can't, why doesn't the world work the way I want it to be? But it's all in your head. <laughs> your perception is just completely warped. Um, yeah, and I wish more people have that self-reflection to understand what's going on in their brain so they can make a little bit better decisions um, in the long term, you know? Yeah, it's... I, I think, uh, as I said, with, with like the studies, I think over the next 10 years, at that point, we will be wise men and we will be looking back and saying, well, we, we sort of warned this was happening back then. That Just like no when surprise. we warned that the Mastro and the Primo was going <laughs> <laughs> to... The Nostradamus of the anabolic <laughs> like we talked about. <laughs> 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 guys, guys, <laughs> be careful. <laughs> Stock up. Yeah. Um, no, but I do. I, I mean, I see it happening around me. I mean, I see it happening on social media. The cognitive decline is atrocious, <laughs> you know, especially I mean, on the guys that, that promote certain cycles, you know, low test, high masterone. I mean, the cognitive decline is clearly there. And then you're, yeah. you're, you're heading into, I think a brain health discussion wouldn't go amiss without mentioning roid rage and how. Mm -hmm. Not made up the term is, but in terms of how androgens amplify personality traits that already existed. 
And I remember I gave a CPD lecture to a load of uh, medical professionals before. And one of the slides was about brain health. And it basically said, if you're an arsehole before you took steroids, you're going to be an even bigger arsehole on them. Yeah. It's, it, it amplifies. So you could have someone who is completely placid and then turns into the most aggressive demon using s- steroids. Wasn't it the steroids made them turn into that person? It was that trait was already there. Their their placid nature, they probably kept it suppressed. Yeah. And now steroids make them more confident, boost serotonin, make them more volatile. And now you've got a personality that a person sort of cognitively and emotionally was able to keep in control or wasn't confident enough to bark at someone or stand up for themselves that all of a sudden you see the actual like Jekyll and Hyde split of what what it's done to amplify the personality that was always there but was suppressed. Yeah, with the steroids, since you gain so much confidence, you're super convinced in your own correctness and justified in your roid rage because who are you to cut me off in traffic? Right? You're completely convinced that you're in the right. But in reality, <laughs> you were probably the one making a mistake, you know, but you don't see it that way. Um, and again, you need a little bit of self-reflection for that. You know, come to Thailand, drive around here, and you'll get cut off so much that it doesn't face you anymore. And then you're like, yeah, it's number seven today. It's fine. I'll break. You know, even on the tremble on your sandwich. <laughs> well, you see that in interactions. Uh, if you interact with people on Instagram and stuff, you'll yeah. see the overconfidence of some of these yeah guys. yeah yeah that's why i stay away from the comment section because it's all guys on trend convinced of their own correctness and like steve you forgot this it's a one minute reel slow down watch the full podcast bro <laughs> you forgot about <laughs> yeah but <laughs> this study said it's in the citations in the full video bro <laughs> just watch the full video <laughs> it's there trust me it's on the screen you know, so, but yeah, it, it, you see it clearly in our space, the cognitive decline and, and the correctness or the, and I remember uh, Phil Viz, one of the podcasts, he said, yeah, I just love arguing with people, even if I'm wrong. <laughs> and he described it perfectly. <laughs> Not particularly fond of Phil Viz, but he even described it perfectly. That's well, what people do. He argued with Dean and I about the angiogram receptor. Yeah. yeah well, about to, it's like, dude, good luck. It's rolling in the mud with pigs. <laughs> There's a, there's a market for that too, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, wait, but it basically what he described, it makes perfect sense. And that's, that's a lot of, that's a large part of the fitness community. That's why I left the boards because people just dare to argue for the sake of arguing, even if they're wrong, they can't stop the raid. That's, that's the ultimate roid rage basically, right? That, that if people argue with Ronnie Coleman or, or, um, uh, yeah, this is my cognitive decline. Jake Cutler. <laughs> Jake, or Randy Cutler, Jake Cutler, or, or Dorian Yates, which has the bigger back. You got to get big and you see a thread like 100,000 pages long of two guys just arguing back and forth. That's that's prime steroid, man. Prime steroids. People couldn't, cannot let it go. You should go to the temple for a week and not talk and, and live <laughs> off you live off, uh, you know, a- apple apple juice or applesauce and, uh, you know, a little bit of rice and some vegetables. 